punk, punk and not punk, pump. Words are hard. Hello, my little googly booglies. Welcome back to the merriest place on the internet. Using a different camera. You can see my wrinkles, so I have to be in focus, right? Yeah, you got yourself in focus, but your sound is terrible. Sorry about that. Hopefully I can get it fixed before the next video. Okay, moving on. Also, I love you. It's Halloween, and you probably want your house to look awesome. Because, hi, it's Halloween. I'm here with some Halloween decor themes and ideas to help you with your Halloween style. Spooky. I've actually got a lot of fun Halloween videos coming up, including the tree. So double check that you're subscribed because I've got a lot of not at all scary videos coming up to help you with this super fun time. And then it'll be Christmas, which is the time we, you know, come alive. All right, let's get Halloween inspired. The first and easiest Halloween theme idea I have for you is to just pick a color. Any regular, run-of-the-mill, classic, not at all cliche Halloween fall color. You could also pick a color combo. There's lots of classic ones. You could mix it up and kind of pick and choose from the classic Halloween colors to do something that's all your own. Fine examples of this would be black and orange, green and orange. That's a way to do it very, very pumpkin themed if you want to just pumpkin and pumpkins. Yeah, I say pumpkins, not pumpkins. It is what it is. Black and purple is a really good idea. Green and purple if you want to do something fun. Yellow and orange if you want to do a candy corn theme. We're gonna talk about candy in a second though. Black and orange, purple and black, red and black also works. Purple and green, green and black, green and orange, green and purple. Black and white if you want to like make it spooky but classy, hypnotic but whimsical. Pick a palette and decorate. This is how I went about doing my Halloween tree. I just kind of went with like a color palette of purple and orange and green and just ran with it. Start there and then anything you find that's within your color palette at stores and things like that, you can just add it. It'll totally work because it goes with your theme of purple and black, orange and green, whatever. The next hat oh geez, I had a soda and I ate my body weight in like sloppy joe. I have regrets. The next Halloween theme to consider is Haunted Mansion. This is one of my favorites because it's just so elegant. I don't necessarily mean like Disney's Haunted Mansion ride, although that is a fantastic choice if you want to get like a really specific. Any sort of like mansion estate themed thing with like haunted elements. Basically, your house is fancy but spooky. Black lace, candelabras, creepy portraits, gotta have some creepy portraits that just really... Skeletons, and especially if they're like pets, like a skeleton cat or dog, very haunted mansion and cool. Webbies. Cobwebs, 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 cobwebs everywhere. Cobwebs. Dead roses is it something you can add. If you have dried flowers, those totally go. Or you can buy like dead looking roses or even black roses and put them in vases and add some webbies to it and like boom, classy haunted mansion. Another way to style your Halloween is to just get freaky with it. Not my preferred choice because real life is scary enough for me so no thank you but really if you find something gross if you find something creepy if you find something scary if you just find something that freaks you out it's on theme if it's freaky and creepy and <laughs> if your grandma won't come in your house you've done it right this is a fairly easy one all of the halloween pop-up shops you know spirit halloween and halloween city is that the other one have all of this kind of stuff you need evil clowns zombie babies freaky looking spiders cloaked figures without faces extra shrieky crazy faces bones everywhere murder people, that kind of stuff. They're all through those stores. The craft stores and things don't usually have as much of this. And honestly, I don't know what big box stores, and I don't think at home has a lot of very scary things, although I haven't been in there. <laughs> COVID. That's me letting you down a little bit and I'm very sorry. Hopefully next year, this will all just be a scary story we tell at Halloween time. But I know that the pop-up seasonal shops have all kinds of this kind of stuff. All kinds of this kind. Nice. Also online, the internet has everything that you need. If you want to get freaky with it, just think the creepier the better. Get the fake blood, get 
body parts and guts and the creepy undead babies and, you know, get an evil clown wreath and scare your neighbors. If you're trying to like really social distance, this could work. If it freaks out your mom, you're a winner. Speaking of actual death, a Day of the Dead theme is not a terrible way to go for Halloween. Please just like be respectful though, because that's like a culture and a tradition. Let's not exploit it for our home decor needs, please. Keep it classy. A really easy way to do this is to set up a Day of the Dead altar. Look into it a little bit. I've got some resources and things on a uh, Pinterest board for this if you're interested. Actually, I have a Pinterest board for like every single one of these themes down in the description below. Resources and inspiration and images and how-tos and all that kind of stuff for all these themes. Link below. Look into Day of the Dead if it's something you've always kind of been curious about or if it's something you just kind of like the idea of. Do a little research and see if it aligns with who you are and what you think. And if it does, add some Day of the Dead decor and maybe a Day of the Dead Dios de los Muertos. I know I'm saying that wrong. Add a Day of the Dead altar to your house. We actually made one. I've got a video tutorial on how to do that and how we did that. My kidlet has been asking to celebrate Day of the Dead, like genuinely celebrate it. Got to looking into it and like with my little pagan heart, it just like totally went with like all of the things that I think. So we're celebrating Day of the Dead officially now. It's our first year celebrating it, but we are going to incorporate it into our yearly traditions of Halloween time. Look into it. Links on those Pinterest boards. To get you started, some sugar skulls are always a great option, and this is nice if you like the non-traditional Halloween colors, some pinks and some turquoise and stuff like that. Also, marigolds everywhere. We actually made paper ones for our altar so that they'll last all the time. Photos of those loved ones who have pass on, candles, there's all kinds of stuff. Look into that if it's something that you're like, huh, that may be a thing that I like. Again, please don't like take part in any cultural appropriation of this. It is a culture and tradition. Be respectful. You're good people. I really don't think I have to worry. If any of you grew up celebrating Day of the Dead, Dios de los Muertos, dang it, I want to say that right so bad. Please leave a comment below with like the traditions and the things that you love about it and, and any tips you may have for me, that'd be really awesome. But let me know below. I would love to hear your stories about it and, and your experiences with it because I just think it's like the coolest welcoming back our lost loved one things just... Okay, so another fairly easy Halloween decor theme idea would be to just pick a classic Halloween character. For example, you could go with an all Dracula slash vampire theme. Maybe you just think the ghosts are really cute and you have little ghosts everywhere. Maybe it's like skeletons and bones, like that's where you want to take it. Frankenstein's monster might be kind of fun if you want to incorporate some green. Zombies, very easy to find zombie stuff. Zombies are everywhere. Spiders is another easy one. You just put webs everywhere and get those little plasticky ones or maybe you want to up it a bit and like create your own DIY spider. Monsters! Go with like monster movie monsters. Witches. Witches is a very very easy one if you're looking for for something not quite as actual scary. Witches are a great way to go. You can incorporate a lot of stripes and stuff because of the striped stockings witches wear. I don't think that they actually did that. How would they get striped stockings in like the 1700s? Like how? Pick a classic Halloween character and just run with it. Buy everything you want that just happens to be a skeleton or a witch or whatever. Pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns is another easy one for this one. Along the same lines as picking a classic Halloween character, you could also theme your decor around a classic Halloween movie or like a sort of spooky TV show. Nightmare Before Christmas is probably the easiest one to do this with and that decor is good September through January. If you're like decorating on a budget and you love the Nightmare Before Christmas, you're totally set. I know, I'm a genius. Hocus Pocus is a personal favorite of mine and there is more and more Hocus Pocus stuff in the stores every year. I am here for it. I just want to run amok, 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 amok. Buy all the Hocus Pocus stuff because I'm just so excited that like it's popular. You couldn't really find a lot of merchandise for it, which was a major bummer, but not anymore. Harry Potter is another idea if you're, you know, bookish, if you love Harry Potter. I know we're all a little disappointed with um, JK Rowling right now. Harry Potter is still a great story. I'm not like totally canceling Harry Potter. Oh my gosh, we've gotten off track. Harry Potter is a great idea for Halloween or Christmas. This is a, a theme you could kind of work into Christmas too, because like winter at Hogwarts, hello. You could do like a Disney thing if you want to just buy anything Disney. Disney has a ton of Halloween stuff out. As for TV shows, Stranger Things is like all the rage. 
right? More and more Stranger Things sort of merchandise and decor and things like that are popping up in stores and places. Where else would you get stuff? There's also a lot of really good DIY things for Stranger Things, Stranger DIY things. Again, the Pinterest boards down below, I've got some ideas and resources for you there. Walking Dead is another kind of TV show idea for you if you wanna you want to do the zombie thing, you could definitely do some Walking Dead stuff. Pick your favorite Halloween thing to watch and be entertained by and decorate accordingly. Mike Myers, Friday the 13th, Scream. Maybe you're very into the old Dracula and you want to do like a thing. Pick your favorite Halloween movie or spooky TV show and just base all your Halloween decor on that. Another Halloween theme idea is trick or treat candy. Hello? Candy. My second most favorite part about Halloween. My favorite is costumes because it's just really fun to be whoever you want to be. Magic. We do candy decoration for Christmas. There's no reason we can't do candy decoration for Halloween. You eat just as much candy at Halloween. You just take it from people. Very fun and whimsical. Very like you could definitely do like a Willy Wonka candy land but like in the more Halloween-y type stuff. Oversized candy. Super cute colorful candies in vases and jars and bowls and things. Candy corn is an especially easy way to do this because the colors of candy corn are everywhere right now. And there's candy corn specific decor stuff. There's a lot of candy corn decor candy there's a lot of candy corn decor in stores that you can already find that's readily available. If you're looking for an easy way to have a cute theme, candy corn. Adorable. You can DIY almost any like Christmas candy decor thing into Halloween decor. You just like swap out the red for orange, make it purple, add the green and the orange, pick a color combo like I was talking about in the first theme and just make that your candy and DIY any candy thing into those colors. Stand by. Hello? My last Halloween decoration idea for you is to just keep it simple and stick with a fall theme. Leaves and pumpkins and pine cones. Keep it easy. Oranges and reds and leaves and pumpkins. You really don't need to take it beyond that. Halloween is a fall holiday, so it totally works. If you're kind of short on time and you don't really want to take down fall decorations, put up Halloween decorations or add to it the way I do, just keep it fall all of Halloween. If you're like, this needs to be a little bit spooky. Buy some of that fake spider webbing and just add that to all of your fall decor and like boom, you have transitioned. That's the reason I still have my fall tree up because like it works. It lasts until, for most people, until like mid-November, but for me it's like November 1st. There's no shame really in keeping it strictly fall themed. Fall autumnal decor is so cozy and so warm and so pretty. I just Love it. Candy corn is another way you can do this because like they're the same colors, the orange and the yellow. Sprinkle that in and it's like instantly like one level closer to Halloween. Keep it simple. This is another way if you need to kind of budget decorate or if you want to put it up a little early. Go with the fall stuff. Pumpkins and leaves and elements and orange. and I don't know. Elements? What? Oranges and reds. Very simple. Very beautiful. Very classy. Very fall. Very Halloween. I do have a video showing you how I decorated my uh fall tree. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Fall tree. Just tree decorating like I do. Please let me know in the comments below which way you're gonna go this year with all your home decor stuff for Halloween. Especially if you're doing something I didn't talk about. If you're like, hey, I had an idea to do this or hey, we always do this. I really want to know about that. So comment below with your favorite how you're gonna be decorating this year and what you're feeling for this spooky season. My favorite theme is definitely the Haunted Mansion. I'm not able to do it this year for reasons that we'll talk about in a future video, but I definitely think it's my favorite just because it's so classy and elegant and pretty, pretty scary. I would also love to do an all Disney Halloween thing, like a villain thing. Mm -hmm. Again, there are Pinterest boards in the description below. Go follow, go look at them, get some help in making it your Halloween. And if you want to see how I decorated the fall tree, you can click or tap right there. She's special. And I do have a video of my Halloween tree. It'll be right there as soon as that's available next week. Thank you so, so much for watching. Happy Halloween decorating. And until we meet again, sparkle on. Spookily. Huh? Yeah?